This video is about 10th uh, generation Intel processors. Um, Intel is releasing uh, new processors for laptops uh, called the IC Lake. They're 10th generation processors. Um, they have four cores and eight threads, and uh, they offer um, high speed um, Wi Fi. Technology and they also have um, uh, higher grade graphics. Um, they are 10 uh, nanometer uh, size, um, but also it's kind of weird because they've also, in addition to IC Lake, they, they've released uh, Comic Lake, and Comic Lake is the old 14th nanometer size, and they go up to six cores and 12 threads. Um, it's kind of odd uh, that Intel would do that, um, but um, the IC Lake uh, is, is a big deal. It's been coming out. It's going to be pushed real hard by Intel. Um, they don't have any desktop 10th uh, generation processors anytime soon that are scheduled. Uh, these are all for laptops. Uh, the 10th generation um, is the the newest technology that Intel wants to push. Um, this will give you a laptop that um, you can pick up, that, that, like a two-in-one or something. That um, you could even game on it and do all kind of things on it. That, that um, almost as powerful as your desktop. Um, it's kind of odd though that uh, the Comic Lake um, is coming out with 14 nanometers. They've had 14 nanometers in the seventh generation. So 7th, 8th, and 9th generation all had 14, 14 nanometers. Um, some of them coming out, and there, this is actually a 10th generation processor. So I'm not sure exactly how they uh, do that and how that works out like that. But um, anyway, that's how they're doing that. Um, and so um, the... processors, the 10th generation is supposed to be the, the, what they're pushing um, to be the, the next level of technology. Um, the numbers that they're having on their common uh, processors too are kind of weird because uh, it's kind of hard to make out what they're doing from the number scheme that they're coming up with on top of that. But anyway, that makes it more difficult. And I don't know why they're calling it a 10th generation processor if it's still 14th nanometer. So. Anyway, um, but anyway, the 10th generation processors are, are really the lightweight thing of the future, and it's supposed to be Intel's newest and fanciest thing that's coming out. So anyway, that's all I really had to say on, on these processors right now. I just wanted to kind of mention a little bit about them. Um, but um, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe, and thanks a lot.